Hey, I'm Wispy, and I finally got a new microphone. So today, I decided to do another character redesign session. So one of the shows I've been watching for the past few years is Hell of a Boss. The basic premise is it's set in hell, and a gang of imps are hired to assassinate people on Earth. Usually, the character designs are great. The colors are awesome and vibrant, and you can immediately tell what vibe each character is going for. However, there are two characters in particular whose designs just generally confuse me, those being Stella and Andrelophus. I don't want to say much about these two without spoiling parts of the show, but they're basically villain siblings. There are a few parts of their designs that annoy me, so let's get into that. But before I start, because I love most of the designs in the show, this is more than likely just a one-off thing so please don't expect any more redesigns for either Hell of a Boss or Has Been Hotel. And just to be clear, I don't think I'm a better character designer than Vivzy Pop or the Spindle Horse team. There's a lot of thought that goes into making a huge animated show, and I'll probably never be able to be the front of a project like this. This is just a fun little exercise to see how these characters would look if they were a little different. Also, I'll be doing my best to keep the designs animation friendly, but I'm no expert, so I might do things that are a little difficult to animate. I also won't be diving into their personalities or story too much, as there's already plenty of more well-spoken people who have already covered this topic. I'll just be pointing out what's necessary design-wise. Anyway, on with the video. First, I'll be redesigning Stella. My main problems with her design concern her dress. The weird pink gradient makes the top look disconnected from the bottom, and I don't like the fantasy princess silhouette. She's a demon, in hell, and I feel like she'd be made fun of for having such a soft appearance, and it doesn't suit her mean personality. Overall, she just doesn't look enough like a villain. The areas of black on her dress are also quite random. Also, the collar of the dress looks like it blends into her neck. I get that it's a style choice, but it makes it unclear where her neck starts and the dress ends. I also don't like that her dress, hair, and face are basically all the same colour. The top of her head also looks kind of bald, and the crown doesn't match the rest of her outfit. I do like her hair silhouette though, but the amount of feathers must be such a pain to animate. I think it's a nice character detail that they flare out when she yells. I think reducing how much the skirt flares out would emphasise this more. I also think her red eyes stand out too much, and the eyelashes are sort of ridiculous. Like, they remind me too much of my old eyes art style from a few years ago. Now for the redesign. I thought I should make it more obvious that she's a peacock demon. In her original design, her beak is too small and her tail is hidden by her dress. So in the new design, I've made her beak bigger and made it more similar to a peacock's and gave her a more obvious tail. I also separated her hair more away from her head. I decided to keep her gloves. As for the dress, I was inspired by this one I found. It's very sleek and elegant and has the perfect modern royalty vibe I feel like the show is trying to go for. I added some shoulder pads to to add more structure. I also added a corset because you can never go wrong with a corset. I made her crown more sharp and pointy and coloured it black. As for her other colours, I made the dress and gloves completely black to add to her villain look. I made her hair a darker colour, but kept the triangle design on her head, as well as the designs at the tips of her feathers. I also kept the design around her eyes and added a design on her chest. I made her eyes and beak pink to add a little contrast in colours and bring more attention to her face. I also added a grey transparent shawl cape thing. I feel like it'd be hard to animate, but it really adds to her elegant look. Finally, I took some expressions from the show and redrew them with the new design. Next is Andrelphus. First of all, he doesn't look intimidating enough. He's supposed to be someone Stella thinks can help her with Stolas, but he just looks like Bird Elsa. His outfit is weird and I'm not a huge fan of the fluffy collar. Their neon colours clash with the pastels and his tiara is a bit ridiculous. It also isn't super clear that he's meant to be a peacock demon. His tail is hidden in the skirt of the dress. And I think since he's Stella's brother, they should look a little more similar. Not identical, just that they're the same kind of demon. Because the old designs have such different colours and shape language and no similar motifs, at a glance their connection is unclear. 
For his redesign, I struggled a bit. I'm not the best at designing royal clothes that don't look cliche or like a costume, but I tried my hardest. I think it turned out alright in the end. I made sure his silhouette was broader in the shoulders so he looked more powerful. I gave him a big, obvious peacock tail and larger beak. For his cloak, I had the idea that the fluffy part could be coated with ice so it's included in his design but isn't an overwhelming part. In his source material, he doesn't seem to be ice related at all, but it seemed to be an important part of his design so I decided to keep it included. For his hair, I made it puffier on top, kept the curly sideburns and added large feathers out the back so he looks a bit similar to Stella. Instead of his tiara, I adapted the design into a scepter. He's a lower ranked demon than Stella and Stolas, so giving him a scepter instead of a tiara could represent this. For his colours, I brought over the black from Stella to his boots, beak and cloak so that they would share a colour. I kept the dark blue of his shirt. The other colours are derived from the light blue of his hair. To mimic a peacock's feathers, I added circular designs to the ends of his feathers and gave him similar eye markings to Stella, as well as a triangular design on his head. And lastly, just like Stella, I took some expressions from the show and redrew them with the new design. And that's their final design. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. How do you like the final design? If you have one of your own characters you'd like me to redesign, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And until I post next, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye!